I'm thirsty. Grow Raw Organic presents to you a brand new way to absorb vegetable nutrients. Try Grow Raw Organic brand 100% broccoli juice. Certified organic, non-GMO project verified. This broccoli juice is lacto-fermented and cold-pressed, meaning that its natural sugars are broken down into lactic acid by healthy bacteria. Contains no color, no sugar, or additives. A new one, Grow Raw Organic presents 100% broccoli juice. Now, you folks out there who've been watching Limbo Grub from the very, very beginning might surmise that your good buddy DJ Clive doesn't really care much for vegetables. That's not the truth! I like vegetables! Like... Like... There's gotta be some vegetable I like. You know, I'm really racking my brain and... There's gotta be some vegetable I like. I guess really the only way to figure it out is to run through them one by one. We got string beans, a wonderful taste of the finest tin. Corn, a tasteless waste of valuable stomach space. Lettuce, tastes identical to eating the contents of your lawnmower bag. Radishes, I would imagine this is what a Tide Pod would taste like. Tomatoes! I don't care what you say, they're a vegetable, they're not a fruit, and a tomato is like the TARDIS. It holds way more fluid than it can possibly contain, and it's set to explode in your face. Beets! Just because Gord Wartsfield eats them, doesn't mean that I have to. They are the bane of me. Peas! They exist between the margins of the food pyramid. To me, it's like they're trying to taste like nuts. Asparagus! It smells better going out than it does going in. That's right, I just said that. Cauliflower! Tastes like clumps of styrofoam that somebody peed on. Red peppers. To me, they are like the Smurf Ganap disease. They taint everything that they come into contact with. Avocados. It makes everything cost $2 extra, just so I can peel it off and throw it in the trash. Yams. It's a vegetable that wanted to be a candy, and I am not fooled. Eggplants. It's the vegetable that wanted to be a meat, and I am not fooled. Artichokes. Looks like somebody went mole rom on poison ivy. Brussels sprouts. I haven't tried them yet but I probably soon will. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Lima beans, sweet on the outside, poison on the inside. Carrots, a taste that I can feel in my olfactory bowl. Spinach? Broccoli? I hate to break this to you because you're almost 250 episodes into this show, but you've been pretty much wasting your time because I am not qualified to do this job. The two vegetables that I have nothing bad to say about, broccoli and spinach, are the two vegetables that are universally hated by everybody. Every time I've ever heard a story about a kid not wanting to eat his vegetables, or any time you see in a movie where a kid doesn't want to eat his vegetables, it's usually one of the two vegetables. It's usually spinach or broccoli. If there are any fellow spinach and broccoli lovers out there, please let me know in the comment section down below. I want to know that you exist because I feel so small and alone in the world. Vegetables for me have always been an insurmountable hurdle in life. I mean, I'm not even gonna say it's so much the taste that turns me off to vegetables. It's the way that they feel in your mouth. When you put a vegetable in your mouth, it's like, I'm not eating food, I'm eating some kind of weird plant matter and it doesn't chew correctly and it doesn't feel right. It feels like I'm licking a tree. I feel the same way about fruits. You know, I have tried on multiple occasions to eat an orange and I can't do it. I don't know why, because orange juice, it tastes fine to me. In fact, I rather enjoy a nice, cool, crisp glass of orange juice on occasion. But eating an orange, I feel like I'm just eating a hard, clumped up spider web. I feel that way about all fruit juices. You got grape juice, you got pineapple juice, strawberry juice, watermelon juice. These are all from fruits that I would normally not go anywhere near. But you put them into a juice, you don't have that weird feeling that you've got like plant matter in your mouth. It just goes down nice and smooth and you don't have to think about it. That's the preferred method of ingesting fruit for me. But vegetable juice, 
I think it goes without saying, it's a bit of a tougher sell, isn't it? I mean, when I drink a refreshing juice, I kind of want it to be sweet. And there are no sweet vegetables out there, are there? I mean, when I think of vegetables, I think of... There's no word for it, it's just vegetable taste! And while I'm being truthful with y'all, I say that I love spinach, and I say that I love broccoli, but God forbid if there's anything in the vicinity that I would rather eat than those things, I would push them to the side and I would concentrate on that! I wouldn't even touch the vegetables if I had a nice succulent turkey or stuffing in front of my eyes! And, and that's terrible because, I mean, yeah, turkey's good and all like that, but it doesn't contain the vitamin power that is within broccoli and spinach and stuff like that! Maybe this juice is the perfect way. Maybe I have to just say, you know, screw the, all the, the soda and whatever I would normally drink with my Thanksgiving meal, and I would just replace it with broccoli juice. That way I could fool my system into intaking those vitamins and minerals I so desperately need. And I love my soda. I don't want to give my soda up. But you know what? Even as I sit here in front of you, it's probably turning my insides into liquid tar. If I were to somehow replace the soda in my diet with something like this, if I were to pop this cap in front of you and take a sip and for it to be love at first taste, I may have just saved my life right here and now, right in front of all y'all! Okay, okay, now I'm excited. <gasps> now I'm not excited. I don't know what I was thinking it was gonna smell like, because it smells like broccoli. It smells like strong broccoli. I already have floods of things to say about this without even having tasted it, but you know what? While this smell is permeating through the walls of this house, I better take a sip now because I am really fighting the temptation right now to flee. This got a kick. <laughs> It really tastes like you're drinking something wrong! <laughs> Why does it taste so... so... salty? Oh, I don't get it, I mean... Is it like an understood thing? Like, when you drink fruit juice, it tastes so sweet, it tastes kind of naturally sugary. So, you have a vegetable. A vegetable is the exact opposite of a fruit, so that tastes naturally... bitter and salty? Is that a thing? Is that an understood truth? I tell you what though, they gave you the exact right amount. Nobody could drink any more than what they give you right here. They purposely made the bottle really, really small. Probably overcharged for it too. Because it is punishment all the way through drinking this thing. I mean, I guess if you're gonna drink healthy, you've gotta make sacrifices in life. This right here is like being flogged. And if you're sick, definitely don't drink this because it's going to set your esophageal lining on fire. Every sip is like a punch to the mouth. Does it taste like broccoli? Yes, it tastes like broccoli. You're going to taste all the broccoli from the stem to the little green florets on the top. You taste all that broccoli. You taste a lot of broccoli. Like they took a whole field full of broccoli and pounded it into this tiny, tiny little bottle. And is this healthy? Yeah. If you drink one of these every day, I can't believe anybody would drink one of these. You have to be a real glutton for punishment to drink one of these every day. But if you can somehow swing that, you are probably saving yourself from contracting hundreds of possible diseases or health disorders down, you know, later in life. But you know what? I've heard through the grapevine that there are also health disorders from drinking too much vegetables. And this is freaking overload. So you are susceptible to getting one of those diseases if you're drinking this. If I were to give this a star rating, I'm gonna take one more sip. I mean, I have- I've almost finished the whole thing, I'll let you know. I'm gonna give it one star. It didn't need to be like this. I like broccoli! I think broccoli is fine! It's got a nice light taste to it! LIGHT! A light taste to it! Why does it taste like there's a big salt cube on top of it? Maybe if I check the ingredients, I'll find some answers here. Ingredients, 100% organic broccoli juice. That's all it should be. That's all it should be, but no! There are other ingredients here. Organic garlic and salt. Well, there's your problem. Garlic! Garlic! It's the garlic! That's the problem! I was having trouble trying to pinpoint what that taste was. 
After looking at those ingredients, I know exactly now what the problem was. It's the garlic. Nobody wants to be drinking garlic. I feel like freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger from that scene in End of Days. Remember where he makes that weird shake and he throws like a pizza in the blender and he like maybe dumps some beer, whatever food he had laying on the floor because he lived like a slob. He blends it all up and he drank it. You can't tell me that he enjoyed that. Look, I've had green drinks on the show before and a lot of them scored pretty high. What the heck did this thing do so wrong that those other drinks did so right? I think because they were vegetable juice blends, a lot of which contained broccoli. But you had these other disparate elements in there to offer a little balance. Maybe they would even throw a single fruit element in there, like a strawberry, to, to add a little bit of tart and take away some of that bitterness. But the moral is you need those other variables, the correct variables, that can only be discovered through experimentation. The right ones to amplify the important tastes and nullify the bad tastes. The correct tastes are certainly not salt and garlic! Garlic drinks make throats bleed. Word to the wise, if you're gonna drink one of these things, you better have some water handy to chase it down with. Ah, that's better. Such a good buddy DJ Clive saying until next time, Oh, hey Squinkies, what are you doing here? We don't know for sure that it's a bomb. I'm sorry, Squinkies! I thought to do it during the week off camera, but I'm kind of scared to touch it! What if it's radioactive or something? Uh, where am I even gonna bring it? Where can I toss it where it's not gonna blow up and take out half of Limbo with it? Yeah. If only. Thank <laughs> you.